everybody is going crazy about Devin. In case you haven't heard, it claims to be the world's first AI software engineer. Right now, it's still behind closed doors. All we have seen is a polished demo. But a lot of you are worried that you're going to lose your coding job to Devin. Some folks are ready to pack up their keyboards and learn plumbing instead. I made a video the other day and shared my thoughts and got a lot of comments. In today's video, we'll dive deeper and see if Devin will reduce software engineering jobs or is it all hype? We'll talk about the reality, the potential, and most importantly, what you can do to stay ahead of the curve. All right, first question, will Devin even succeed? Startups have a high failure rate, even with huge funding. Investors chase trends and AI is hot right now, but that doesn't mean that we're gonna see a flawless product that delivers. Now, let's assume for a second that it kicks butt and the official launch blows us away. The next question is, is it truly useful Polished demos are great, but real-world software is messy. It has old systems, undocumented quirks, tons of integrations. Understanding how to work within that, that's the kind of thing that AI struggles with and why we need human intelligence and wisdom. Will Devin work on those real, complex enterprise projects? We haven't seen proof of that. Remember those no-code tools that have been around forever? All those promises of letting anyone build software with drag-and-drop magic? They often overpromise and under-deliver. You can't build anything serious with these tools. Certainly not the kind of software that runs our hospitals, airlines, or power grids, the stuff our lives depend on. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program and that the programming language is human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's unpack this nonsense. Saying no one will need to code and everyone is suddenly a programmer is as ridiculous as claiming with AI, everyone is instantly a doctor or a lawyer. Software engineering, just like those fields, requires years of specialized training and problem-solving skills. Sure, you might create a simple to-do app with natural language, but trying to build the software that runs hospitals, airlines, or our cars that way, it's a massive overpromise. So why does he make that bold claim? Because his company is heavily invested in AI, so hyping its power inflates Nvidia's stock. So don't fall for it. Look, I respect this CEO's business success, but he's not a software engineer. Keep that in mind. He doesn't understand the complexities of real-world software, and playing around with C++ 20 years ago doesn't really count. So let's assume that Devin version 1 or even version 10 can do everything. Does that mean software jobs suddenly disappear? Absolutely not. Tech adoption takes time, especially in big companies with legacy systems. Remember how long it took for companies to fully switch to the cloud? It'll be the same with widespread AI adoption. This gives you time to learn and adapt. Let's also remember that tech adoption isn't even across the board. Some companies, especially those dealing with sensitive data like government or healthcare, have strict security policies. They might even outright block online AI tools due to security risks. So don't assume every workplace will jump on the AI right away. Think about it. Digital locks have been around for decades. But what happened to locksmiths? Did they go extinct? Of course not. In fact, most houses still use traditional keys. So just because there's new tech out there doesn't mean everybody rushes to adopt it. Plus, some real-world systems are so complex and over-engineered that they always need highly specialized engineers to keep them running. Think of those banking systems. Some still rely on COBOL code from decades ago. But regardless of AI, as a software engineer, you should always be learning new things to stay relevant. I remember when Foxborough was the hottest thing. Jobs everywhere, everybody wanted to learn it, and most of you watching this probably haven't even heard of it, right? Then came across SQL Server, Oracle, different tools, but the same concept, data storage. Someone who understands those fundamentals could easily transition from Foxpro to the next big thing because they grasp the underlying concepts. The fact is, the tools we use and how we code will keep evolving. That's the nature of tech. AI will probably change how we code. Maybe we'll spend more time crafting prompts and less on coding, but we'll still need those deep coding skills to refine AI's output and collaborate effectively. We still have to understand how code works, how data flows, and how to solve real-world problems through software. These are timeless skills. Think of it like building a house. You might start with a hammer and nails, then learn how to use a power drill, and next thing you know, you've got fancy 3D modeling software. But regardless of the tool, you need those blueprints. 
the understanding of structure, material length, and how it all comes together to create a livable space. So yes, AI will change how we code, just like every new tech advancement has done throughout history. Let's look back for a minute. The invention of the calculator didn't eliminate mathematicians. It just changed what they spent time on. Design software didn't erase graphic designers, but it certainly changed their workflows. The same will happen with coding. Some very repetitive coding tasks might be automated. But guess what happens next? New roles emerge. Now let's address something I hear a lot. Some of you are worried that AI will make your jobs obsolete. That one super coder with their fancy AI tools will replace two or more engineers. But here's the thing. Just because we can potentially work faster doesn't mean there is suddenly a shortage of problems to solve. Think about it. We as humans want new features and functionalities all the time. Every app you use is constantly getting updated. Why? Because that's how companies compete. They need to offer the best, most feature-rich experience to stay ahead. But it's not just about the shiny new stuff. A lot of existing projects are weighed down by tech debt that keeps piling up. Now, imagine AI helping us not only roll out those new features faster, but also tackle the messy code. Companies could finally fix those annoying bugs, improve performance, all while still delivering the cool stuff that keeps customers happy. Suddenly, projects get done way faster. New versions ship like clockwork. That means more jobs in the long run, not less. It's like building a house. With better tools and techniques, we can build faster. But that doesn't mean we suddenly stop needing houses, right? We just get to build more elaborate and innovative ones. Let's not forget the big picture. Software is eating the world. Everything runs on some kind of code and that demand is only going to grow. We'll always need skilled people to shape that software, whether they write every line from scratch or collaborate with powerful AI tools. And finally, let's not get paralyzed by those clickbait headlines claiming AI is stealing your job. Those are designed to scare you to get views. Some are from folks who make money off of your fear. Others are just inexperienced. Maybe they know some coding, but they don't understand the full complexities of building and maintaining large-scale software. Don't let those voices define your reality. Look, if you're passionate about coding, if the idea of building things with software lights you up, then go for it. Think about it. Awesome salaries, flexible schedules, the freedom to work from anywhere, these are the perks of being a software engineer. Don't let the fear mongering get to you. Some folks might get scared of AI and miss out on this amazing path. Well, that's their loss and less competition for you, right? So instead of getting lost in the panic, focus on leveling up your skills. Build on those coding fundamentals, explore new AI tools, and stay hungry for knowledge. That's how you thrive, not by panicking about the future. If you like this video, please like and share it to spread the word and educate the community together. And subscribe for more no-nonsense coding advice.